What is up, hi, this is Noli here, and welcome to another Payday 2 video. Today we are taking a look at my favorite build in the game, why it's so gimmicky, yet so damn effective. So, as far as the gameplay you're going to be seeing in the background is concerned, it's actually soundless. There's just going to be some music playing throughout, and um, I'm actually going to make a video later on in the week talking about why I think the big fat music update is one of the best updates we've ever seen in Payday 2, and why we need more of this kind of thing to maintain Payday 2's replayability. But for today's video, we're just going to be hearing some of those tracks playing in the background, some of the uh, actual ones with vocals, like Drifting, will be playing very faintly, otherwise it gets very con confusing hearing two voices at once. But this tree, which you're going to be seeing on screen any moment now, uh, I'm, I'm really proud of. and. Considering, and, and it does require some very specific weapons, but considering how you'd expect it to be so odd and weak, it really pulls its weight, especially solo loud. And normally going loud when you're on your own is a really bad idea. The AI is pretty inconsistent, but here we have a mission that people seldom do loud, which is actually first day of election day, um, and I go loud straight from the off and I'm easily able to complete this on my own on overkill admittedly with the AI but I don't actually really need them in this mission they're a good distraction if nothing else though so as far as the mastermind tree is concerned you can scratch that we don't need anything though if you want to change things around a little bit you might want to try and pick up endurance that's only tier one and it's gonna cost what five skill points if you can find them left over Really where the majority of our skills are going to be placed are Enforcer and Technician, good old fashioned, going loud skills. But there are some really odd pickups and I'll explain why they are niche but why they are quite effective if you focus the explosive melee and shotgun as you're seeing in the video. And as I said it's the weapons that really catalyzes this build into something worthwhile. And it's only really become effective since the Gage Assault Pack came out. So, of course, we're going to unlock the Enforce and then build our way up through Transporter Aced, Pumping Iron Aced, obviously, for our melee attacks. Uh, Underdog Aced, because I'm a huge fan of anything that does percentage. Uh, 15 additional percentages on your melee strikes on Overkill is actually going to uh, turn some hits into a two-shot melee kill as opposed to three-shot. Um, on the regular 200 health enemies and, and that's that's one of the biggest problems with melee on this build the extra swing is an issue if you've got underdog up and running you don't have to worry about that at all then we ace out shotgun impact on the far left hand side of the tree but only own basic tough guy and stun resistance you don't need too much but i like to pick up stun resistance and then tough guy wise acing that out doesn't mean a lot to me i don't really need bleed out health i don't plan to get down anyway with the amount of tankiness i'm getting in this build so berserker is one of the less usual enforcer skills for you to pick up uh just because it's another one of those odd percentage skills the lower your health the more damage you do when your health is below 25 percent you will do up to 250 more melee and sword damage that's huge! Below 25%? Instead of swinging for 60, you're going to be swinging for what? About 150? That's almost a one-shot on the less than green enemies. So, you you definitely want to pick up Berserker, if only for those clutch moments. Shotgun CQB, so just the basic on shotgun, uh, is going to allow you 50% faster reload speed. You don't really need anything else as far as shotguns are concerned. For once, the shotgun secondary actually is a shotgun secondary. Fully loaded is the next skill you want to pick up and actually ace out. And then following on from that, Iron Man. You always want to ace out Iron Man if you're going to tamper with it at all. I find the aced version is actually better than the improved combined tactical vest. Not that I don't appreciate the extra tankiness, but the fact that you can melee shield enemies to knock them away is hugely effective on a melee build. Maybe not as effective, seeing as how this build has a very strong anti-shield mechanic but I still like to pick it up anyway. Overkill Basic is the last skill we're going to pick up in the Enforcer Tree. When you kill an enemy using a shotgun or the over 9,000 portable sword, you receive a 75% damage bonus for 5 seconds. With all these things stacking, you can one-shot even some of the biggest enemies and really dense specials with your melee hits when you're below 25% and once you picked up a kill with a shotgun. You just have to get on a roll. And this was the sort of thing that I went for in my own sort of... Um, 
idealistic melee tree, the pugilist melee tree. If you haven't seen that video, check it out in the description below. Now we go into the technician, which is almost just as important. One of my main problems with the technician though is early on, unless you want to use rifles and unless you're going to focus on the drill skills, it's kind of tough to bring yourself up into the higher up skills that are of more use. But I do pick up nerves of steel and I actually ace that out. Not particularly important that you do that, there's just literally nothing else for me to put points in because I never really want to touch the C4 and I don't need rifleman. Uh, I do pick up standard shot shooter just because again I want to push up into those higher tiers. So nerves of steel then hardware expert and drill sergeant. Then we move over to the left hand side of the tree and you surprisingly enough sentry guns. People will tell me sentry guns are awful. Why do you say sentry guns are awful? Well because sentry guns don't allow you to progress with heists any faster. Whereas you can have your C4, your ECM to get through the heist faster, uh, or even your med kits and ammo to maintain yourself in the heists. The sentry gun is very gimmicky and bursty and you really have to get your timing right and your placement right. But if you do, this thing can be a monster and especially if, like me, you follow up through sentry targeting package aced. You just get regular sentry combat upgrade. I don't really feel like it needs a shield. They're, they tend to be tanky enough anyway. And then sentry tower defense. You've got two of them in 300% harder. And they're going to be hitting far more frequently. And uh, with much greater ease thanks to targeting package. Next up on the right hand side of the tree. We have shockproof at basic. Keeping those tasers away on the hole. You don't really need to ace it out. The second part really is gimmicky, though I, I do quite appreciate it, the electrocution of the uh, enemy tasers. It's, uh, there's some beautiful irony in it. And then finally, Bulletproof, one of the best skills in the game, indisputably. Improves your armor so you can absorb 50% more damage. So suddenly my improved uh, combined tactical vest, whatever it's called, yeah, that's it, I got it right. Suddenly, that is 150%. So... Finally Ghost, we're just going to pick up a couple of skills over here. We're going to get Sprinter, because I love it. We're going to get Fast Hands, because it's necessary on almost every mission. And we're going to get Martial Arts Basic. 50% more likely to knock an enemy down with a melee strike. Then you'll have one point left over to put wherever you want. The only place that I saw where it might have some application was Cat Blood Burglar. You take 75% less damage falling from non-fatal heights. That is the build. As far as the weapons are concerned, as I said, this is equally as important. You want to use the GL40 grenade launcher. There was some debate in my uh, GL40 video as to whether this weapon is strong, weak, in between. And I came to the conclusion, ah, it's alright, it's in between, it's a lot of fun though. And that's why I say the Gage Assault Pack is definitely a decent DLC to pick up. However... I am now under the impression it really is one of the most powerful weapons in the game if you become tanky enough. It's got such consistency. You never run out of ammo of this thing if you have the skills and perks that I have. Um, if you're accurate with it, you can take out three enemies per shot. And you don't even need to. I know the reload speed is a real stick in the mud and it is one of the, the only problems with it. but. If you work it properly, if you use cover and you are strong enough to take enough hits to get another shot out, you really don't have to worry about it. Genuinely, one of the most powerful weapons in the game right now in my opinion. Only the sniper rifles and some shotguns really rival it. But I, I, I love it. I will dispute anyone in the comments who uh, say otherwise. I love uh, these sort of constructive conversations and I really don't mind if you don't think it's strong. I just have my reasons for, for liking it, and I think the gameplay really shows it off as well as any other can. Next up, the Locomotive 12G. I've talked about this before. Striker or 12G, completely up to you. I think the 12G is slightly more powerful as it is right now, and my uh, Street Sweeper actually has the flechette attachment that I really didn't particularly want. So I just went with the Locomotive in this video. Either works, and you already have the shotgun perks to really back it up. Melee weapon is actually important. Baseball bat, in my opinion, outshines every other melee weapon for damage and consistency. The ding dong has its uses, and so does the so does the compact hatchet and the survival tomahawk. If you want to just be knocking enemies down and not really trying to pick up melee kills, telescopic baton is your best choice. But as I said, most versatile, most consistent, baseball bat is my melee weapon of choice, and I'm just used to it now. The improved combined tactical vest is obviously our armor of choice, and obviously the sentry gun is the way we spec equipment-wise. 
that is it for the build. I hope you enjoy the gameplay, and I also hope you're really enjoying the big fat music update, which has been out a week now. I love it. And uh, I said I'll make another video in the future about why I think this is one of the best updates I've seen. And just to quickly mention why that is, uh, I'll go into much greater detail in the future. It really improved Payday's replayability for me and anyone else I imagine who enjoys the music. I wanted to play different missions. I wanted to, to listen to the music while playing the game. It gave me a real incentive to keep playing heist. And, and music is not something that gets old fast. And that is why I think it's one of the most intuitive updates we've seen. And that's what I really want to see. As much as I really would like to see brand new heists, longer, shorter, more stealth based, I also would love to see what's existing very more. They already have like procedurally generated stuff, but why not improve on that? Why not make things more surprising? Originally, the new uh, the new chase mechanics, when they'd happen more frequently, that was, I know, it irritated people a little bit, but it definitely improved replayability for a while. Things like that would be huge, in my opinion, even bigger than just adding a new mission. How about changing the way every single one of the missions in the game works? I think it'll bring people back into the game to play it, and those of you who are waning on the outside of the game, you're thinking you're playing it less frequently, I definitely think of Overkill, make the old heists, the ones you enjoy, you know how to play, and they turn them on their heads. You guys will all come flooding back and enjoying Payday again. And that's what the music update was for me. I hope you guys feel the same way. I'll talk about it in greater detail. What I would love to see Overkill do in future free updates. But that's for another video. I hope you have enjoyed. I hope you will continue to enjoy the last minute of the gameplay. That's a lot for watching. I will see you all in the next one. Ambition. I've been doing it for a minute, preparing for the situation. It's finally here, getting paid off of my patience. The crew is here, run with bundles of bandits. It's about to get crazy, preparing for straight jackets. This heist is bigger than anything that we ever did. If we succeed, we can even take care of our kids. I want them raised right now, need with this life of mine. I must admit, though, I'm loving this life of crime. Plan out exactly what's gonna happen on blueprints. Make sure everything goes smooth. No need for nooses, speak with a loud tone, seriousness on my face, for three months I've been casing this place, there isn't any way you better mess up this mission, cause if you mess it up then you'll be the one that end up missing, time to turn into a monster like Space Jam, and shooting my way out is my only escape, yo it's time to get paid, you know what time it is, trying to make this real money, I can retire your way, living in a paradise, most couldn't envision my mind state, as a criminal. Ambition, yo, it's time to get big.